is we're going to automate everything with magical and powerful deep neural networks running in the cloud. The incredible automation magic is just going to happen. It's intelligent. It's doing multi-layer perceptrons, whatever that is, in deep neural networks. Oh my God, it sounds great and scary at the same time. Now you guys inflicted some statutes on me in the morning. I'm going to inflict two screens of math on you. This gives you the notion that there's any kind of magic here. A lot of this machine learning is really just figuring out the parameters for a system of linear equations, equations that you can solve by multiplying and dividing if you know what the parameters are. So this looks a little daunting, but inputs come in those black squares. They go to a first layer that computes a value in red that's handed to the blue, that's handed to the green. The value depends on numbers that are sent between these things. So in X, actually though, what's going on is not magic. To figure out the best guess at the next parameter, they're just doing a bunch of matrix math, which is really just boring, multiply and add over and over again. All this machine learning training is make a guess of what the parameter should be, feed something through it. If it got it right, say, that's good, do more of that. If it got it wrong, say, try again. <coughs> and it's just repetitious, boring, boring calculations. So we've come full circle. We're back to big number crunchers in the cloud. They're just doing some different stuff now with the machine learning thing. The other thing that's full circle though, kind of like what Alan was pushing with the personal computers close to the individuals, is cheap inference engines on the edge of the network. And there's a, a tension between these two things. The cheap inference engines on the edge of the network embodied by, for instance, something I've been playing with, Intel makes a neural compute stick that draws one lot of power, does 10 gigaflops <coughs> for $70. Retail, you buy one on Amazon this afternoon, plug it into your Raspberry Pi, $25. For about $100, you can have a vision system. You need a camera, but the cameras are $25. This is saying a couple things. Well, you may be bamboozled a bit by the idea that, oh my God, only the biggest players can do this machine learning stuff. I don't believe it because the compute power is available to the amateurs too. Maybe not quite as much, but if you're clever about it, you can do interesting things. This also says that the Internet of Things will have inference, will have probabilistic guesses of what things are going on based on these machine learning algorithms, and that will become ubiquitous. So the automation and the AI stuff will become ubiquitous over the next five years, 10 years, something like that. So think hard about what kind of metaphors you want to live with as we go forward, because those drive a little bit about how we treat things. Now, if this was a music